Lake Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Advil. Make the switch to Advil now. I salute you. <laughs> the audience is easily tricked by me. <laughs> I'm like some kind of con man. <laughs> Jeff, can you hear me over there? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> Shall we talk like this for the rest of the show? <laughs> yes, and no one will ever know. <laughs> because no one is watching. That's true. <laughs> yeah, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yeah! Yes, it is. I just saw. This is how good. This is how good the studio audience is. I said it's a great day for America, and I saw somebody in the studio audience stand up and go, Yeah! The studio audience here should start dressing up like Dancing with the Stars. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like people look, you should, should look like, you know, because really, I mean, you're lovely people, but you look a little shabby. <laughs> I'm losing them. <laughs> it's a great everybody. It's Friday, everybody. Ah, oh, thank goodness. It's uh, all right. That's enough. Right now. Uh, what happened this week? The Grammy Awards were announced this week. Bill Clinton was nominated for a spoken word Grammy, and that spoken word was. Mm -mm. <laughs> Also this week, the state of Washington legalized marijuana on the same day as they legalized the gay marriage. So careful, stoners. <laughs> <You're> like... <laughs> Dude, we did what? <laughs> I mean, honey, we did what? <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger has a, a, a committed to appear in at least one and maybe two more Terminator movies. That was announced this week. In the next movie, Arnold will, from the future will time travel uh, uh, to the past and tell Arnold from the past that he should wear a condom. <laughs> and wait, 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 wait. What would that sound like, Jeff? Listen to me, you have to put on a condom. Trust me, trust me, you have to do it. Do it. Anyway. Here's the thing. The thing this week that I liked is a new survey found out this week that uh, the use of sex toys among senior citizens has skyrocketed. <laughs> I know. You can learn more about this in the latest issue of Things You Never Want to Read About, ever. <laughs> Experts are saying this is proof that old people are more comfortable with sex or more confused about flashlights. <laughs> I turn the light on, but all it does is shake. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what I'm excited about today. I'm very excited. a very big movie opening today. It's one of the most highly anticipated films of the year. Personally, I've been waiting for this movie for 10 years. I'm very excited to see this one. You got a poster? Uh, well, that's, that's, that's not The Hobbit. I thought The, Ho <laughs> I thought the Hobbit was today. Next, next Friday. All right, well, I can't wait to see what that... What's that called? <laughs> Please? Oh, yeah! See that? Playing for keeps. Yeah. That's a, it's actually it's playing for keeps. It's actually based on a French film called Playing for Crepes. And it's, <laughs> what shall we play for? Baguettes? Uh, cheese? <laughs> yeah, let's play for crepes. 
<laughs> nah, it's, it's uh, playing for keeps. It's one of those romantic comedies. Who doesn't love a romantic comedy? Al Qaeda. That's who. But <laughs> this has got uh, Jerry Butler in it. Uh, Gerard Butler, as he's known. Him. Jerry. He's my friend. Jerry. Who doesn't love Jerry Butler? Even Al Qaeda loves Jerry. They're like death to America, except perhaps Jerry Butler, because he was so touching in that Phantom of the Opera movie. <laughs> The Phantom of the Opera is now your mastermind. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so all I, I know about this movie is that Jerry Butler plays a Scottish soccer player who moves to America to teach kids soccer. And I'm sure along the way he falls in love, gets his heart broken, learns a valuable life lesson that everybody works on. Uh, <laughs> What I think is interesting is that it speaks volumes that they don't put soccer anywhere on the poster. Because people in America do not love soccer. <laughs> That's true. I know this is controversial to the Americans that do. But most Americans are like, no, to most Americans, soccer is like warm hockey. And <laughs> I'm losing them, Jeff. I'm losing them. <laughs> Well, some Americans like it. They just don't like it as much as other sports. I look forward to your letter, David Beckham. <laughs> True, people here love soccer. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I broke my leg. <laughs> David Beckham. David Beckham is the most famous soccer player in the world. But last week, he, he last week he wrapped up his contract with the LA Galaxy. He's been there six years, but he's moving on now. He's like the Mary Poppins of soccer. But he's <laughs> but he's no longer needed. He just floats off to the next place. He's like, cheerio, kids. <laughs> I spoke all of Chicago, and I broke my leg again. I mean, no, one's, no one knows what Beckham's going to do next. He, he's 37 now. That's too old to play soccer. Not too old to pose for the sexy underwear picture, though. So you got a, a picture from his latest underwear shoot? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Let me see that again. That's awesome. We, uh, from now on, I'd like that to be our regular go-to picture when I, like, when I ask for, like, a picture of Paul McCartney, just show me that. Yeah. Right, for example, do we have a picture of Paul McCartney? Yeah, that's good. See, if we make these decisions now, it means I don't have to come to work early. Now, we've got a picture of the real David Beckham underwear, aren't you got it? There, there you are. I, I wonder... He can't hear you. <laughs> Let me see it again. Yeah, now, I, I wonder, wonder if we could tie a knot with that thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yeah, or, or the rope. <laughs> There's always, though, a younger, sexier ball kicker out there. Rumors are that LA Galaxy are going after the, the new guy, the Brazilian soccer star, uh, What's his name? Kaká? Kaká. 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 I think it's Kaká. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's his name. One word. Kaká. As soon as he'll be Bex out, Kaká in. <laughs> we, we have a picture of uh, the, this. Uh, this is the hat. new guy. Yeah. Where, where's your rope, son? <laughs> he look, you know, let, let me see that guy again. He, this guy looks like if you go every, smoosh together every single member of One Direction. <laughs> Which I think you'd be all right about, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you are, then. <laughs> I think I'm done. I think I've had enough. Yeah, I think you're done, man. I think, <laughs> I, think I lost them when I uh, assumed that most Americans don't love soccer, which I stand by, by the way. I think Americans like soccer, some, but not. It's not the same as, like, football and stuff. Hell, I enjoy kicking balls as much as the next guy. <laughs> Well, I say, and that's the confusing thing. Soccer, football, in Europe they call it football, and, you know, it's, it's all a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> but I did quite enjoy your David Beckham impression. That was, uh, that was something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> over here from yesterday's Finnish Independence show. <laughs> that was a big night. You know what, I, uh, Richie, i got to tell you. Uh, the, Richie Sambora, who's been here all week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> as the, uh, it's been a blast, my friend. I have to say, 
I have to say that I, I, I am just, I am so uh, grateful that the band has been here all week. Jeff and I have loved it, haven't we, Jeff? Oh, they rock, they're, man. They're fantastic. They rock. And I, there's only, I have one regret. I have one, the, the, like in the album, the, there's this, is, this is Richie's album, right? Which, of course, he's plugging because that's why he's on the show. But the, uh, <laughs> but there's a, there's a track six of this show, Sugar Daddy. I should sing that. Are you going to come up tonight? I'll sing that with you tonight. How many want to sing yeah. that? Yeah. I'm holding you to that, man. We're doing it. Set your DVRs, rock fans. Get ready, world. Ah, yeah, Ferguson's gonna ruin another one of Sambora's songs? <laughs> That's right. Not content with having Larry King almost ruin Richie's <laughs> career, I'm gonna finish the job myself. <laughs> I'm gonna sing tonight. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. Well, you're you... saying that now because you haven't heard it. No. When you um, hear it, you'll go, that wasn't awesome, Craig. I'm saying that because I don't have ears. <laughs> well, if you don't have ears, how do you know what I'm saying? Don't say lip reading because I'm looking away from you. Well, go ahead. You didn't hear me! <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's Tweet Mail time. Tonight's Tweet Mail brought to you by Big Mike's Septuagenarian Sex Shop. This Christmas, put something naughty in Grandma's stocking and also her holiday sock. <laughs> I'm going to have to loosen my collar because I'm going to be singing tonight. Yeah, man. I'll loosen my collar. I'm, get, I'm getting ready. Loosen it up, baby. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm, Join I'm gonna, in the band. I'm, ah! <laughs> what do you got? Ah! Ah! It's going to be great. <laughs> this is from Harry in San Francisco. Well, you know him, don't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, Craig, thanks for the shout out during Finnish Independence Day. Did you have a great celebratory dinner? Oh, I'm still full of reindeer, dude. <laughs> this is from Derek in British Columbia. I don't know if you can tell, Derek sent in a picture of himself smashing a coconut. Yeah. <laughs> Derek says, uh, Dear Craig, can you smash coconuts every night? For three more nights. <laughs> yeah, mate, I don't know. It's like, at, at the end of the interviews, I always like to add a little thing. Would you like some fruit, big cash prize, awkward pause? Uh, make-out <laughs> session. But that doesn't always work. And I added smash the coconut, but I'm getting bored with it. This tie's a little badly uh, set up, isn't it? Look at that. I unbo Look, I'm a mess. Because <laughs> I, know, I know people tune into this show to see how elegant I am normally. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Devin in Richmond, Virginia, who says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, I've been watching you guys every night instead of studying for finals. Any tips on how to pass my bio exam? <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the I can have TV. Uh, hey, look, this is a blank piece of paper with nothing on it. What the this hell? is great. This is I can I, I am legally entitled to make up my own correspondence. <laughs> but yes. All right. So it's dear Craig and none of the other jerks on the show. <laughs> Why, do you believe this? What the hell? That's what the hell? I'm sorry, guys, that's what's written down. All those other jerks are holding you back, Craig. You're so awesome, and these guys smell like farts. <laughs> Signed, attractive girls. Well, that's what it said. That's what it said. Hey, that's what it said. Man, that was a surprise. I like that. Kiss my ass, attractive girls. <laughs> Mine too, attractive girls. Richie! Mine too, Richie please! Yeah. Yeah. I think too. I think everybody would agree if attractive girls want to come here and kiss our asses, I think we're all good with that. Are we well, all good yeah. with that? Yeah. Our secretary, yeah. yeah, we're all, everybody's fine. <laughs> Maybe we should uh, edit the show so it ends with the attractive girls email. <laughs> yeah. I hope that happens. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back.
guest tonight is a very beautiful woman. She directed, co-wrote, and stars in Two Ye Days in New York, which is now available on DVD. Take a look at this. <laughs> Julie Delpy, everybody. Julie Delpy. Julie, Julie, I have to say you look very elegant and very attractive in that dress you're wearing. Thank you. No, really, very nice. It's got uh, leaves on it. Yes, it does. And you know, I had a dilemma actually today. A dilemma? I mean, yeah, a dilemma. Mm-hmm. Uh, whatever you that's pronounce the, it No, right? that's yeah, the okay. word. Yeah, okay, yeah, dilemma. dilemma. Yep. And basically, I wanted to make a bit of, um, of, a, of a feminist statement and come here in boots with jeans and no hair and makeup, kind of natural, you know, the that's real fine, deal. That's fine, that's fine, yes. And then I thought about it, and I, I, I was thinking, either people are going to think I'm depressed, uh, a drug addict, <laughs> that I've given up, or I don't know what. And then I watch other shows and stuff, and I realize everyone's dressed as a hooker, more or less. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, I know I am. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I better find shoes that looks like... Well, you I'm don't, you're not dressed like a and hooker. So, you look fantastic. Well, okay, yeah. okay. Good. I mean, you look, well, maybe a very expensive hooker. <laughs> Good. That's a compliment. Thank you. That's a compliment. That Thank is. You. Thank like, you. I take it as a compliment. There's no way I could afford to pay this woman for it. <laughs> I mean, look at that, that dress so alone. Don't forget feminism. You know, I no, got let's, shoes. No, let's not forget. <laughs> you, can, you can be a feminist and uh, look Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. That's what I thought afterwards. It's like we're not in 1969 anymore. You know, I just like... I was like, okay, I'm going to be a feminist and look like, you know. That's all this. right. There's re it's really not a problem. I mean, okay. look at, you know. No, 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 I'm joking. I mean, no, not really. I mean, I don't know. Actually, I thought about it for real. <laughs> do, you, do you worry about appearing on this show? Because you really mustn't. No one else does. No, but I wanted to. <laughs> it's really fine. It's, we like to think that this is a welcoming place in late night, that, you know, love all the people. It's all good. Just come along. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, I, no, but, uh, yeah. I know. Also, if you'd have turned up with no makeup and boots and jeans, I would have judged you harshly. Yeah, you would have thought. No, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't. I just no, think you, you were depressed. Have, you would, oh yeah. <laughs> or is that what you wear normally? Is boots and jeans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a motorcycle? Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm scared of motorcycle. I'm scared of about, yeah, I'm scared of motorcycle. Well, you're no. scared of them like you think they're going to get you? Or you think... Yeah, exactly. That's you think a motorcycle <laughs> is going to follow you around like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a ghost? Stalk me. And yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm scared about. Well, no, when you were in, in France, though, wouldn't, in, right, riding around Paris, a motorcycle is ideal, like a little scooter or something. You're joking, right? No, no, not at all. I, 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 that's Have you been in Paris? You know many how times French I, people drive? I mean... Yes, but, you know, you can avoid them quickly with your little putt putt scooter. Yeah. <laughs> I loved going around France in a little scooter, like a... Uh, yeah, 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 it's like a... <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. Between I, two buses, you know, like... Whoops, no, no, I didn't. Do you know what I did see once I, in France? This is true. I saw this in Paris, and I thought, hmm, this is why French people are actually cooler than anyone else. Uh -huh. I saw three cops on the Rue de Rennes, yeah. right? All three of them were on rollerblades. They were all smoking, having a conversation as he went down the street, one of them rollerblading backwards so he could talk to the other two. <laughs> and they were cops. I was like, so they were armed, they had dinky little hats on, outfits, rollerblading backwards, going <laughs> I actually saw no, it with my I own eyes. You, I saw it with my that, own eyes. That's I was possible. Like, wow. I know. When do they practice for cops this? Cops are pretty cool in France. Uh, oh, I'm really? Sorry. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm joking. They're cops really are. Cool. I mean, I was just very impressed by that. I mean, I've seen rollerblading cops before, but that's in Venice Beach, and they're not real cops. <laughs> That's it, yeah. No, 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 they, they're genuinely not real cops. They're like yeah. pe people dressed as cops delivering uh, funny messages. Messages, oh, okay. <laughs> About the end of the world. Crikey. Yeah, sort of. Do you ever go down to Venice Beach and see all those people there? Yeah, that's where, you know, America ends. You know, that's where they all end up. <laughs> <laughs> I always oh, have this theory, they're another... like all moving slowly towards the US and then they end on Venice Beach. You know what I mean? It's like... <laughs> You make a fair point, actually, but they, uh, they, there is a, there's another bit called Hawaii further out. Then you can, yeah. And they usually, You yeah. ever been to Hawaii? No, never. Oh, you'd love it. Really? You, do you like spam? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a, it's uh, a spiced meat. Yeah, no, I know what it is. Do they still make that? 
Oh, uh, really? Hawaiians love it. They put okay. it in, uh, but they, they treat it properly. They chop it up and put sauce. Oh, and they put it with like pineapple or something like that? Oh, hello. You are French. <laughs> pineapple, something like that. Do you cook? Uh, yes, a yes. lot. Yeah. I mean, I used to cook until I had a child, and now I... Yeah, now you make Cheerios, like all of us. Uh, <laughs> Have you noticed that when you have a kid, your car always has Cheerios in it? No matter what happens, there's always Cheerios. My car has a lot of things in it, but not Cheerios, because I don't feed my son Cheerios. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had no idea you were in Al-Qaeda. <laughs> no Cheerios? Or the, or the circular wheaty snack equivalent? No? Um, no, I feel. Uh, do you have strict uh, dietary rules for your child? No, no, but uh, yeah, no, like oatmeal and uh, you know organic fruits. Oh, that's awesome. Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what about cartoons? The kid get to watch cartoons at all? Like this much? Yeah. Uh, what, oh. age, what age is your kid? Four. Ah, oh, that that's all right. They don't like Cheerios and cartoons at four. At four, no. <laughs> No, we're trying to get him off the superheroes right now, which is really hard. Like, no, he's no. obsessed no, with... No, dudes uh, are into superheroes. Men like superheroes. Batman and all that stuff. Like, he loves the, the, yeah, the stuff. Yeah, like, that's fine. But he wants to know why some Batman are, are, are dressed in grey and some Batman are dressed in black. You know, the old Batman... Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Well, one, one of them's entertaining and, you know, riveting, and the other one's a <laughs> ridiculous 60s comedy show. There they are. I look forward to your letters coming, book nerds. <laughs> Um, well, that's nice. Tell me about the film, Two Days in New York. Yes. Didn't uh, you do a film, Two Days Somewhere Else? In Paris first. Yeah, that's right. I first remember we were you were here Paris. talking about it. Yes. I had a boyfriend, uh, and, and then I have another boyfriend in Two Days in New York, because I figured, you know, it's good to do a sequel where women are changing boyfriends. <laughs> Just because I feel like, you know, it's... They do. I mean, it's not the they story of my life, because it's the opposite. I'm a very, you know, I'm, I'm like that. But, um... Like, <laughs> I see. But uh, like sometimes like that. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm like that. I'm really like that. And then um, <laughs> I'm really square. And so, uh, and so in this one, the, the character of Mario is, you know, she kind of, you know, she's looking for love. So she tries. You in know. New York. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. there. It's there. Yeah, kind of does, well, don't tell us if she finds love, but I'm guessing there's a shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah. finds love. And is Jerry Butler boyfriend. there? Does she fall in love with Jerry Butler in New York? No. He's there making the other movie. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. No, no, she doesn't fall in love with Jerry Butler. She, fa she falls in love with Chris Rock. Who wouldn't? I adore I know, Chris Rock. Exactly. Yeah. So Chris Rock is my boyfriend. <laughs> well, Chris Rock's adorable. What the hell's wrong with you people? Yeah. I love Chris Rock. Who doesn't love Chris Rock? No, he's cute. He's like he's, a little... He's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, he's so sweet and, and cuddly. I whoa, mean, I whoa, him. I don't know. I, 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 <laughs> Maybe that's what he's like no, to he's you. Actually, he's never like he's that to me. He's a very, very sweet person and great to work with. And, and really, it was great to have him. And I wrote the film for him. So, you know, he, he was my, my first choice. I, I met him briefly once, and I was like, ooh, I love this, his, his energy. Obviously, I mean, he's a brilliant, you know, comedian and everything. And I was like, I, I want to be his girlfriend. Not in real life, he's married. <laughs> but, you know, in a movie. Is that how it works with you people, is it? <laughs> <laughs> And by you people, I mean actors. <laughs> well, he's married, so I'll write a movie in which I... <laughs> Where we get to snog. Do you snog? Do you make we out with him in the we movie? We snog a little bit. Very little. I mean, the film is very... There's, there's very actual uh, physical sexuality in the film, but we talk I'm in, a lot I'm about in, it. I'll go. Yeah, all right. It's all talk. I mean, we talk a lot about it. Less than in the first one, actually. A little less than in the first one, but uh, enough in All this right. one, too. Uh, we're out of time. Uh, <laughs> wanna, do you want to smash a coconut, or do you want to just uh, worry about it existentially? <laughs> it's a new thing I've just decided to introduce. Do you want to worry about the coconut, or smash the coconut? You know, I feel this one in particular is going to be really hard to break. I can break that coconut. I'm scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm scared of physical violence. Yeah, it's not Even violent. breaking a coconut makes me a little nervous. Well, in that case, we will just wish the coconut well. Can you pet it? <laughs> you want, uh, pet the coconut. Julie Dobby, everybody. Julie Dobby.
stars in the show New Girl, which airs Tuesdays on Fox. Take a look at this. <laughs> Lamar Morris, everybody. Yeah, what? No, you, yeah, it's great. You look great with your leather jacket. And leather everything. jacket. I want to yeah. be tough. I want to yeah, be a tough guy, man. You look great. You look cool. You, you you forgot your shoes. I forgot to tie the shoes. That's the thing that the kids are doing now, though, isn't it? They're tying their shoes. Oh, you mean not tying? Not the shoes. tying their shoes. Yeah, it's cool. It's really cool. It's very cool. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's fantastic. And congratulations on this show. It's a huge. Thank you. Hit. Thank you very <laughs> much. Thank you. Yeah, you got some money. Speed boats and Ferraris, baby. Speed boats, Ferraris, leather jackets, leather jackets, shoes tied, untied. It doesn't matter. Loafers, laces, it's fantastic. Your family must be delighted for you. Huh? They are. They're very excited. My yeah, mom, yeah. my mom specifically is extremely excited. Yeah. Why? Why your mom? Because she's your mom, I guess. She's, she's, she's my mom. mom. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's my, if, I, if I were homeless, she might be ashamed. No, yeah. not if you were not if you were great at being homeless. Yeah, that means I'd be really homeless. And then when she retires, she gets no money from me. Yeah. So your mom's going to retire and you're going to give her a lot of the money from the Yeah, sitcom? that's what happens in black you're families. A, you're a good, you're a good man. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 Is, she a fan, is she a fan of the show, though, your mom? Does she enjoy the she show? She is a fan of the show. She's a Zoe fan more than she's a fan of, of me. Oh, that's just, that's ridiculous. It's terrible. I, you know, what are you going to do? Quit the show? No. Yeah, no, you should quit. <laughs> you should quit. You say, I'm quitting this show. My mom has right. embarrassed me <laughs> too often. She loves Zoe more than she loves Zo me. Zoe's a lovely girl. She's been here. She I was in a movie with her. Well, it was an animated movie, and we That's never right. met. But I was yeah. in a movie with her. Yeah. So, well, and she's been here. You've met. She's been here many times. Yes. Yeah. Of course we've met. Come on. We made out. No, we didn't. Did you really? Uh, that'd be gross. I'm like five times her age. No, 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 no. Well, well we had Dermot Mulroney on the show, and she made out with him a bunch of times. He's like Well, 90. that's just the kind of thing that I object to. How did your mom feel about that? Well, she didn't. She didn't. My mom is against relationships. Yeah. Against relationships? <laughs> I made that up. I know. She's you, single. You're... So, for, if anybody out there is looking, <laughs> my mom is single. Dude, don't come on and pimp your mom on the show. That's not right. How else is she going to get my mom? Come she on, needs to come be... On. Your mom could be watching this. She, yeah, I'm sure she will be. And, you know, she needs a relationship. She's alone right now. <laughs> lovely woman, lovely woman. Five, well, what are her interests, then? If, if someone is interested in Lamorne's mom, what does she like to do? My mom loves to read, write, arithmetic. <laughs> she, lo she loves, she loves Jesus. Mom, Jesus, if Jesus, if Jesus came back, my mom would marry Jesus. <laughs> She would. That is a very complicated situation you're talking about there. <laughs> that, that, that's a, your, your mom very religious? Extremely religious. Well, how did she no. feel about you doing the sh show on Fox then? They're, they're... There are racy moments, but yeah. you know, well, my mom, I will say this, my mom will call me if she ever heard me swear. If I said the A word or e. D, that, A. That doesn't even count as swearing it does, in my book. It, it doesn't. S. Yeah. Don't S. say it. Don't okay, say I mean, it. You're going to flag it out. No, no, we have a crocky. Damn it. No, no, I mean. <laughs> Mrs. Morris, I want you to know that I had nothing to do with that. Me either. This is outrageous. You can't do that in front of your mom here. Well, I'm, well she's in Chicago and I'm here. I can do whatever oh, I want. Oh, let me tell you how television works, buddy. This goes out in Chicago. No, I know, but she can't just get over here. I mean, there's a plane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She could yeah. be here in a couple of hours. You know the power of moms. So I she do. She could be here. I do. But she, but Are she you going there for the Christmas? Are you going back no, there? Oh, no. I'm thinking about going somewhere exotic like Africa. Yeah. Okay. That's I don't know nice. Why. I don't know why. Well, on your own? On my own, you know. Just go and, and, and discover. <laughs> what are you going to do for Christmas dinner? Eat something. <laughs> I mean, the same thing I would eat, you know, for non Christmas dinner, like pizza or something. <laughs> Something African, though. You know, I don't know. African pizza? African pizza. Yeah. Yeah. What part of Africa you want to go? I've been to certain areas, but I haven't been all You know what, Africa. to be honest with you, I don't know. I really just want to go and investigate what, you know, certain issues and certain things that they talk about. Well, you want to solve a crime or something? Yeah. You know, I have this, I have this thing that I feel like, you, you know, the Santa Claus looking dude in the Save the Children commercials? The old guy with the beard. The white guy is like, look at this child. He's poor and sick. You should give him your money. I want to go and see if that dude is still there helping out.
that's a long way to go to find that out. Man. You know, yeah. but I, I think it's a trick. I think that dude literally is shooting all those spots and those things and those infomercials in like Van Nuys or something. <laughs> Hey, I, there's certain parts of Van Nuys that are pretty exotic. Maybe you yeah. can go there for Christmas. I could. I could with the Van Nuys right. Airport. It's one of the great airports of America. Is it really? Yeah, it's great. It's the busiest general aviation airport in the entire United States. You, are these facts that you know, or are you just making this up? <laughs> Sounds good, though, doesn't it? It does. Say it? it does. Yeah, it yeah. Does. That's actually true. Okay, well, I had no idea. I well, made see. It up. I, <laughs> <laughs> now. Listen, we're out of time. What do you want to do? Ring a bell, have an awkward pause, uh, some drinks, and smash a coconut? Uh, Ooh, I've been seeing a lot of the smash a coconut thing. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm... What I, do you want to do? I'm here for I want to do whatever you want to do. I'm just a pawn in your game. <laughs> so we'll smash a coconut, we'll smash a coconut. Smash okay, right, coconut. You want your safety goggles? Get your safety goggles on. There you okay, are. Okay, here we go. All right, you want uh, some kind of splash guard? Here you are, you're covered up. And, uh... Richie, we got some coconut smashing music, please? Yeah. yeah all right. My buddy Richie Sambora has been the uh, band leader on the show and with a fantastic band. Can I hear a round of applause for this? It's been a blast, my friend. Too much fun, man. Too much fun. Now, what I say, Richie's got an album called uh, Aftermath of the Lowdown. It's fantastic. Track six is called Sugar Daddy, and I'm about to kill it. Come on, brother. I can do what I want to do. 